This episode brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Like cool stuff? Want to save 15% on it? Use coupon code SPRING14. Why spend your money somewhere else when you can be awesome? Welcome to Call Me Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and I've got with me nobody. It's just me. I'm solo. Even, even Jennifer left to go pick up my son. So this is like I'm all on my own. I could get lost at any moment. So we're going to create the Jungle Bird. This recipe submitted by uh, Robert and Kayla. Uh, uh, Kay Kayla. Kayla. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that. What am I going to do with this? So, this recipe is a half ounce simple syrup, an ounce and a half accrusion. So, this really should have been the first ingredient in the list. Ounce and a half accrusion, estate rum, dark rum, double diamond, estate diamond, whatever it's called. Boom! Five years or younger or older. Let me see. A blend of five years and older. That's like the second time this week it's, a recipe's called for that. If you don't have that, use a, a younger, like a five year or old rum that you have because nothing's going to go wrong. Okay? Tasting those might be a little bit different. Who knows? But you're gonna be okay. This recipe really only has dark rum in it as a as a component. It's got dark rum. It's got a uh, half ounce of simple syrup, an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, and a half ounce of lime. So maybe sweet, maybe sour. I don't know. Sometimes it's got the simple syrup and the lime, so they should all counterbalance each other. It's a half ounce, half ounce. The pineapple juice could sweeten it up a little bit, but then there's alcohol. So who knows what's gonna happen? It's like big summer blow. Who knows? All right. Let's get this done. All right, we're gonna do, let's start with the simple syrup because since it's right here. We're gonna do a half ounce of the simp. See, half ounce right here. And yes, this is the stirring simple syrup that we sell in the store. I opened it a while back because I didn't have simple syrup, so why am I gonna make simple syrup? Because I've already got this here, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, we're gonna do an ounce and a half cushion aged dark rum right here. Okay, boom, ounce and a half. Big summer blow. A whole bunch of people come down the stairs now. Uh, ounce and a half pineapple juice. Oh, you're bringing Brianna with you? Mm -hmm. Alright, ounce and a half. See you later. Bye -bye. We're gonna do a half ounce of a lime juice. So, I finally got my lime squeeze. So here's the difference. This is lime squeeze. We sell them. You can get them anywhere if you wish to not support us and make me sad. Uh, this is the Chef and Lime Squeeze. We sell, these are out of stock, but we have the green ones. They look the same size. They're just green. It's so you can pick up the right one. For this, I would supposedly use a green one, but why am I gonna have one of each color, one of the same? If you wanna get real crazy, this is an orange one. Big difference. But you'll find it's a lot easier squeezing an orange if you're gonna make some fresh juice with an orange squeeze than trying to jam it into one of these unless you have a really tiny orange. So, just a uh, suggestion for those that care. And it's got uh, extra gear on it so that it's not as hard to push down. Not a lot of work. We're just going to put in just this one lime. And that should do. One half a lime. Typically is about a half a lime. Is a uh, half an ounce. Whole lime, whole ounce. For the most part. Limes are pretty hard to come by so that's what we're going to use. Alright. Add in some ice. Co what the hell? Alright. Pretend that didn't happen. I'm also gonna use these these cool uh, glasses. Obviously, super epic. You can also find these in awesome drinks if you're looking for a more of a. It's more of a jug. I think we're calling them a, a uh, what is it? It's not a ma it's not a mason glass, but it's more of a a jug glass glass jug, if you will. Because when I think Mason, I don't think of a handle. And normally they have the logos on them. These ones are clean. They don't have anything on them. All right. I think I got everything. Yep, you can see that there's pineapple juice in here because of the crazy amount of foam that it creates. Oh, and you can smell lime, uh, pineapple juice. Boom. Um, the jungle bird. Done. Pouring it all over the place. Right there. Looks like um, either, it's a little white. It's not as white as a pina colada, but it's close. Um, pretty much any type of tiki drink that's not brown. Smells like um, creamy pineapple juice. Ooh. 
and sour and sweet. That was kind of loud. Hmm. Sour and sweet. Oh, that's probably because the Clash of Clans War is starting. It's got a little bit of little sweetness to it, but overall, there is a slight tartness, and you get some of the taste of the rum, but you're not getting a lot of the alcohol burn. Simple to make. Basically, if you take the simple syrup and you take the lime, you're almost building on the fly a little bit of a sour mix. So this is almost like a rum sour if it wasn't for the pineapple juice addition. Typically, a sour doesn't have pineapple juice. It might have bitters, uh, but it's typically sour and whatever that component is. So the pineapple juice definitely plays a little different in here. The thing that throws it off to me, and this isn't because the drink's bad or good or indifferent, is that when I typically have a drink with rum and pineapple juice, there's, t there's usually a little bit of coconut, like a, a Malibu or a Crucian coconut rum or something like that. So, But if you did that, I think you would turn this more into the pina colada because now you've got your coconut rum, you've got your pineapple juice. The only thing you're missing is uh, cream of coconut. And it would probably make it taste more like that. And in this drink, I think they're going for something that's a little bit more straightforward, gets a little bit of tropical flavor, a little bit of the sour without the without turning it into a pina colada ripoff. Simple to make. Pretty single, I mean, I want to say single dimensional, but it's not every day that I have a pineapple sour bite in the finish. Pineapple juice up front, sour in the back. It's like it's like a citrus mullet, is what it is. Can I say that? Um, it's just it's got that sweet that pineapple flavor. The simple syrup helping to bring up some of the sweetness of the pineapple. A little bit of a dry finish with a sour tart bite. It's pretty neat. Uh, simple. Probably good for pool sides if you're into more of a, a slightly sour drink, something that makes you um, even salivate for another sip. Probably, you know, an ounce and a half of rum. It's not going to get you too screwed up too quick. I would probably double the quantities of this for a drink. If you've got friends over and they like it, I would have, this is a drink I think I, you know, if it were me, this is a drink I'd have somebody taste first and say, hey, what do you think of this drink? You know, is it, is it, what, how does it taste? Because some people might think that that dry, sour bite might be a turnoff. When, especially when they get the pineapple draw. You're thinking, ooh, it's going to be sweet. And it's not that sweet. So if you get a group of people who like it, make a picture of it, sit down in the pool, unless you're in Australia, sit down at the uh, fire, put another shrimp on the barbie, I don't know, um, a log on the fire, and, and, and drink it that way. But simple to make. Everybody should go make this drink from the show. Done! Any questions? Pineapple foam? That was the other thing. We were talking the other a couple weeks ago. Pineapple foam. Ian loves the pineapple foam. He even shook something with pineapple just to get the foam on there. And somebody was like, oh my god. Um, as a bartender, they hate foam. They think it makes the drink uglier with the pineapple foam. And it leaves some, some crazy residue on the side that makes the drink look ugly. I tend to disagree because... I don't know, I just do. I like the foam, I like to have even, I don't care if, once you drink it if it starts to look ugly on the side. It just doesn't bother me because I'm drinking it. By the time I see it's ugly, it's gone. And it would probably be in a, more of a coupe type glass for that. So that's it. Question of the day. We have anything over here going on? <laughs> Tree on the fire. <laughs> uh, we have some people that seem to like the pineapple foam. So. You know, maybe we need a t-shirt that says, I like pineapple foam. And on the back it says, needs more bitters. And you can flip it. Maybe inside out. That's what we need to invest. Inside out shirts that have different sayings in the front and the back. So you could wear it the next day and people think you're wearing a different shirt. Question of the day. How often do you re-wear re your clothes? Is there a, a number? Like, I know there's probably people who every time they, they dress up or they do something, they, they put it all in the washing machine and it's going to be completely clean. Do you wear your jeans more than once? Um, I know I do. Uh, my jeans... I wear them until they fall off. Not really, but what do you guys think? What, how, how do you handle your, your clothes treatment? Do you wash them every day? And here's another question. Do you buy, and I've always I've debated on what's better or worse. Do you buy high quality um, like jeans and, and stuff like that that you wear all the time? Or do you just buy the cheaper ones for half the price and buy them more often? I always, I've always subscribed to the buy the cheap ones, but I'm starting to change my tune. Really, really liking the, uh, the heavier, the cooler... Cooler pants, uh, cooler shirts, the uh, Under Armour shirts, and the ones that have like that, that cool thread count to them. But I'm getting old. Who knows? 
EverydayTriggers.com. I did it. I asked a question of the day that wasn't alcohol related. AustinDrinks.com if you want to check these out. Our glass jugs. Our strainers. Our conical strainers. And everything else that you probably see on the show that isn't alcohol related. Just saying. That's it! We're teaching you how to drink.